Welcome to another live stream with Leona. Today we are going to make probably the easiest project that you've ever made in your life. We are going to make beautiful handmade cards because we're living in this time right now, aren't we, where people are having birthdays and we might not be able to get to the shops, but we can use things we've got at home to create beautiful cards that we can send to people. So come along, join me. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much. It's lovely to have you. Please do make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like this video. That would be much appreciated. And um, yeah, try and come in for the next live stream because it's super, super, super fun having you here, having you talk to me in the chat. We have a great time. We have a bit of fun, do you know what I mean? And we need a bit of fun right now. Let's do it. So thank you for joining. So uh, this is how it works. So basically, I'm going to be looking over here at my laptop, chatting with people as we go along. People are going to ask me questions and things like that, and I will happily answer them as we go along. Um, and I'm going to be chatting to you here, obviously. And then I'm also going to be chatting to you here. So you're going to see me here, and you can see the artwork that I'm creating. And you can see a little bit closer, which is really nice. And I'll have all the materials out here and everything. So it's going to be so good. Have you ever made a handmade card before? I mean, I make them all the time. I, For every single family member and friends, I'm always making handmade cards for people because they just love it, right? They love it so much. So why not give it a go? If you've never done one before, why not give it a go? This is a really, really simple mosaic technique, really. That's what I'm going to show you. This is like a basic very 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 early starter beginner have no fear just go for it kind of project and um yeah like i said your people are gonna love it when they receive this there's nothing quite like receiving a handmade card and there's no need to feel stressed or pressured into making something like amazing because this is a pretty much of a foolproof method method that i've got for you right here <laughs> <laughs> so come in sign into your youtube uh, account come and chat with me and let's do it so i'm going to run through uh, again if you're watching this on the replay um, i usually run through the project for about 10 minutes and then get started all right so what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need some a4 card right you're going to need something like this it doesn't have to be white just really whatever you've got whatever color card you've got but it's got to be just a little bit thicker than paper because you can't make a handmade card with paper kind of says it in the title right handmade card card <laughs> so make sure you've got some a4 card or really whatever size actually um you know a4 and a5 and a6 and all the a's isn't a thing in the us so whatever you've got that you can fold in half and make a decent size card with get that right grab that <gasps> it's tamiko oh my gosh hi tamiko how are you oh it's so lovely to have you how are you ah do you want to make some cards with me today come on in and make some cards with me uh, so yes, yeah, so you need your A4 card and then you're going to need something to make the actual artwork on. So this is A5 size. Howdy, William. Oh my God, I've got some new people here today. Yay. How are you, William? You're right. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming in. Let's make some cards. Oh yeah. So you're going to need something that you're going to do your artwork on. So this mosaic kind of type design that we're going to do, you're going to need something to stick it all onto, right? And I recommend that you just use anything, anything that's a bit thicker than paper. It could be some junk mail. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you've got in the house, just go grab something now. Go grab it. Go grab it. Go grab it. Go get it. Let's do it. Let's make it. Um, and then you're going to need just like something to kind of just like a border. So this is actually A5. Can you see that? So we've got an A5 kind of green border. Oh, I'm wearing green today. So you're going to have to look when I do it on this camera overhead. Uh, but I've got, this is A5 and then this is just cut a little bit smaller. So you can cut it on uh, with a, um, a cutting mat and a cutting knife if you want to, or you can cut it with scissors. For safety's sake, because I'm on the live, I'm doing lots of things, I'm doing multiple cameras, I'm talking to people in the chat, 
I am not using a cutting knife and a cutting mat. I am using scissors. So if mine's a tiny bit wonky, I'm not even worried about it. Do you know what I mean? I'm not worried. And you shouldn't be either. Just do use whatever you've got. Maybe you haven't got a cutting knife and it doesn't matter. Just use scissors, right? So we've got those three things. They're our basic kind of structure to make the card, right? And then, no, it's old, William. Inspire me. <laughs> inspire me let's get inspired right i'm going to swap the camera over so you can see all the bits that i'm going to be telling you all about the materials right so you're going to need your pencil that's 100 percent. we're going to be drawing lots of lines and stuff so you need a pencil it doesn't matter what kind of pencil it is you could even use a pen it doesn't really matter uh you're going to obviously need some scissors to cut stuff out with any scissors will do and you're going to need an eraser. This isn't actually completely necessary, but if you want to just, if you make some lines and then you cut and you don't like the way you've cut and you can see the marks of the pencil, you can rub them out. So that's just an optional thing. You're going to need a glue stick, just any glue stick that you know is a good quality one because there are some bad quality glue sticks out there. So make sure you get a good quality one. Don't get one from like a pound shop or a dollar store. They never work. Unless you've tested it, they never work for me. So make sure you test it out, right, before. You're going to need a ruler. So get a ruler. I've got a steel rule, ruler here. It doesn't really matter about the measurements. We're not actually going to be doing any measuring today. We're just going to be using the width of the ruler. So we're going to need it for a straight edge and for the width. So technically doesn't have to be a ruler it's just got to be something straight okay wonky is the word to describe me cutting with scissors well that's fine i mean you don't even have to do straight lines you could cut and do a little kind of uh a wave shape if you want do you know what i mean the possibilities are endless i'll give you loads of options as we go along right but i'm just going to keep it as simple as i possibly can okay that's the nice thing about a simple project because you can always expand out right and then, then the kind of basic tool. So that's for the actual physical card. This is like what you need to make it. And then you're gonna need some things to create your mosaic, all right? So I'm gonna talk about that. Let me just put this to the side a second. Who's that? It's Finley. Hello, Finley, how are you doing? Welcome, thank you for joining. Do you need to make a card for somebody? If you do, you better stick around because this is the easiest handmade card that you've ever made in your life. If you've ever made one in your life. I don't know. You have to tell me in the chat. <laughs> so then you're going to need, after all those materials, you're going to need six pieces of coloured or patterned papers. Now this can be wrapping paper. It could be something from a magazine. It could be junk mail. It could be lovely, pretty papers you bought ages ago and you've put them at the bottom of a drawer and now you're going to dig them out for the first time in years, right? It could be an old greetings card that you're cutting up and using. It could be a catalogue. It could be so many things, right? It's William and Finley. Yay! <laughs> da, 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 da. Jane, how you doing, sweetheart? How's it going? We're making a card. We're making a really simple, easy card. Joy! How you doing, Joy? Yeah. Da, 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 da. We got all the people in the house. We got all the people in the house, which is great. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, so choose six things. Did I mention it's six things? You might think that's quite a lot, but they don't need to be very big, right? You only need it to be probably about maybe like A5, A6 size. So only kind of like this kind of size, right? That's all you need. So about six different things this size, right? Uh, yes, I've made cards. Oh, it's Evan. Hi, Evan. How you doing? Back for another week. Back for more. Joy is a card maker. That is actually... Joy makes some amazing cards. Joy has sent me cards before and they're always beautiful. So here's another technique, right? Another technique you could get into. So I'm gonna show you kind of some of the papers. So I bought this. If you're ever fortunate enough to like love kind of doing cards so much that you wanna go out and you wanna splash out a little bit and you wanna buy or buy it on Amazon or whatever, 
you might want to look at something like this now these are kind of foiled papers which are super super gorgeous and I am going to use one of these today because I quite like the reflection I think it's pretty fabulous so I'm going to choose one of these Cynthia yay hi Cynthia how you doing welcome Lachlan's in the house it's 21 out of 10 again how do you know how do you know we haven't even started are you saying this this is it this is the example is that getting 21 out of 10 because i'm happy about that i'm definitely happy about that if it focuses right uh so yeah so i'm gonna use this one the one right at the back because it's got a kind of a purple and gold vibe happening i mean look at that I'm in glitzy. I'm in a bit of a glitzy mood. It doesn't happen very often, but I'm in a bit of a glitzy mood right now. How are you feeling? <laughs> Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. So I'm going to use that. And then you can get stuff from magazines, right? So I was saying magazines, catalogues, junk mail, all that kind of stuff, right? So I pulled this, which I love, just like a kind of a tropical rainforest type picture. I pulled that out, so I'm going to use that. I've pulled this out. This I think I've had for such a long time. You don't need this much. You only need like about that much, right? And you actually need less than that. But let's say A5. So you need six sheets of A5 approximately, right? But don't even worry about it. Don't even stress, okay? Just something there about. So we're going to cut them into squares and rectangles anyway, right? So it doesn't really matter. And then I found this, which is kind of like some fabulous, like Japanese flame fire festival of amazingness. And I was like, I'm going to use this because it's got all this fire in it. And I'm the fiery person, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to just trim that bit off. And I'm going to trim off this so that kind of doesn't distract me. Get that out of the way. And then finally, I've got two sheets of just like plain color so i've just got a purple and a yellow and i'm just going to cut them in half again because you don't need that much but i just wanted to show you you know like if you get a pack of colored paper you only need an a5 size right feeling fabulous with a hint of giddiness well i mean ha happy days right happy days i think we're all feeling a bit giddy like in the lockdown right <laughs> So get all your materials. Love those cards. Yay! The myth, the legend is me. I'm here. Hi, Alan. How are you? You made it. Awesome. 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 I like that. I like an introduction. We should do that like every time when you come in the room, like give yourself an introduction. Do you know what I mean? Here I am. I'm ready. Uh, by the way, today's project, I reckon, is going to be a bit of a short one. I don't think we're going to be here for two hours. I reckon we're going to be here for about an hour and a half, maybe even less, because I wanted to make this so, so, so accessible to you. I wanted you to be like, oh, my God, it's so-and-so's birthday, like, in two days. What am I going to do? I need to make this super quick card right here, right now, and I can do it, right? So, like I said, six pieces. Six pieces of something, 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 right? One, two, three, four, five, six, done. Okay, so you've got your six bits. I'm gonna get everything else out of the way. Six bits are ready. I've got my example, I'm gonna leave that there. Let's get started. I'm feeling good. I wish I could go out, right? It's so true, but feeling a bit weird. Yeah, it's not always like happy days when you go outside. So like stay in and remain happy. <laughs> Stay indoors. Remain happy. <laughs> Good to see you, friend. All right, let's do it. Let's begin the project. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold our beautiful A4 piece of card in half or whatever size you've got. This is going to be like the base foundation of the card. Easy peasy done, right? So just fold your card in half. Happy days. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then you're pretty much going to leave that out of the way to the end because the way I always do cards is to create the artwork separate and then stick it on the card. Like if you just like start sticking onto this like straight away now, it kind of weakens the card. It like, you know, just makes it more flimsy and you want to keep the integrity of the card. You want to keep it really strong. 
right? So just whenever you're doing any artworks, do them separately, stick them on at the end, right? Top tip, top tip, let's go. So what we're gonna work on is this separate piece here. And like I said, right at the beginning, I've got a green piece of paper for the border. So all I did was just trim it down a little bit, this white one. So whatever you're working on, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be white. It can be a piece of junk mail, it can be a piece of cardboard that you got in some packaging. Doesn't really matter whatever it is, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, right at the end, mount that on there and then mount that on there, okay? So you've got your gorgeous mosaic artwork happening in the center, right? Amazing, easy, happy. Hope you and the fam are doing well. Yeah, really good, thank you. And yours as well, and yours as well. All right, so let's put all these out of the way. We don't need this and we don't need this. All we need is this. Actually, right now we don't even need that. We're gonna put that to the side as well, get it all out of the way. What you're gonna need is your six pieces of fabulous paper or cards or magazine cutouts or junk mail or plain colored card or old greetings cards or whatever you got. <laughs> or wrapping paper. So many options. Can you think of any more options? Love your camera setup. Thank you, sweetheart. It's a lot different to the Periscope days, right? A lot different. Top tip to do it separate. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, always do it separate. Also, if you make a mistake, then you've eliminated that, right? So what we're gonna do, easy peasy lemon squeezy, with each of these six pieces, we're gonna simply draw some lines on them and cut them out. So we're gonna make some strips, right? Some strips of each one. We don't need very many of each. I'm gonna say, so we don't even really need this much. This is like too much, but it's good to have, start with too much if you can, right? Another top tip coming your way right here, right now, is that if you've got a really crazy pattern on one side, and if the other side is plain, always draw your lines on the plain side, right? If you've got a magazine, you might not be able to do that because it might be like double-sided patterns, right? But we'll get there, we'll get there. So I'm just using the width of my ruler, right? Junk bills works, yeah, or you can even use like text. You don't have to use all images with this, you can use text as well. Music sheets, <gasps> that would be beautiful. Jelly prints, oh my gosh. Newspaper articles, 100%. Yeah, Periscope Blair, whatever. We don't know her anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. I'd like that when I do my Zoom calls. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are, all we need is the thickness of the ruler. So whatever you've got, it doesn't have to be a ruler. It can be just a flat edge. But we're going to use the thickness and we're going to need that thickness to be kind of um, uniform throughout the project, right? So all I'm going to do is just do a few lines going down three strips is like more than enough right it's more than enough oh and just make sure you've got the correct length you see mine's a bit longer that's absolutely fine so whatever you've got of your background so mine's white right you've got to just make sure your colored papers are a little bit wider than that right that's all you're gonna know because obviously you've got to fit it on there you don't want it to be like too short okay that's it all right so few lines cut them out did i say this was easy or did i say this was easy this is easy so easy so so easy i only made a card the other week i'm always making cards for people I just think it's so, you know, actually saying that handmade card, actually any card that you buy now from shops are so expensive. Like they never used to be that expensive, but you could spend like a good four pounds on a card in the UK, which is pretty outrageous really. And obviously your time is precious, like to make a card for somebody. But like when you're sitting at home at the end of the day, you're watching a bit of TV or something, like you can just make one of these cards. You don't have to use, it's not brain power to do this, right? You don't need any brain power. You just need the willingness to have a relaxing time. That's all you need. 
So yes, yeah, so I've got my three strips of that. So I'm going to put that to the side and then I'm going to do my other one. Right, so I'm going to get, I'm going to put this scrap. Now, whatever you've got left, you're going to need that for a bit later because we might just add a couple of things on right at the end okay just i've got a couple of things to show you how i'm gonna like just do one more little special little element on that so yeah so keep all your scrap bits all right if you're following along with me keep your scrap bits all right let's go to the next one so we've got this lovely green now you want to choose the side where you can kind of see your pencil mark i'm going to cut off the writing because that's going to be distracting. I'm going to double check that it's that is enough. Yeah, that's enough length. Actually, I'll tell you what, I can just trim this off. That can be my little extra bit. And then I'm going to do another three, three lines. Two or three is enough. Let's go around this way. Right, and always start on the straight edge of whatever you've got okay so if you put your ruler next to a wonky edge they're all going to be wonky all right so start off if you can with a straight edge and then work from there okay it's really important that actually that's another top tip i mean coming at you with the top tips everywhere oh yeah here all the cars look silly yeah some of them just aren't appropriate right they're just not appropriate uh, why spend money on cars? Just watch Leona. It's more fun and it will be appreciated more. That's so lovely of you to say. And it will be appreciated more. Take it from 40 years of me being on this planet. And probably since I was maybe like 10 or 12, I've been making cards for people. So that's a lot of years. And I've never had a complaint. Although really, the people you're actually going to send a handmade card to, uh, they like you, right? So they're not really going to be like, well, actually, I didn't like that card that you made. <laughs> Are they? They're going to be appreciative. So that's all good. Spread the good vibes. Spread those good vibes. Haven't bought a card since 1985. Good job. Making them is fun, especially one with a lovely accent. Ooh! Thank you. Good point. Thank you. Yeah, some of the cards that you can get in the shops are just... You could just sort of... I don't know if you do this, but I just sort of walk around. I mean, again, I haven't been in the shop for a good while. Um, but a lot of the cards that I see are just stand there and i'm like is anyone gonna like them like i don't know i can't feel the person that i'm designing this card for i can't feel if they're gonna like it you know all right so we've got this oh look how reflective that is woo we got this we got this we've got two things we've got to do another four things we've got a nice pile of stuff right let me check the width yes it's good oh look on the back of this we've got like pots and pans from some time in the past all right so Let's get these lines drawn here. So I'm going to just make another two lines. So how are you getting on? Let me know if you're following along. And let me know if you're getting on all right, just making a few lines. As I said, I'm probably making too much with like three, three strips. It's probably, it's probably actually, actually no, it's not probably actually just enough. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. These things are visual. Right? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So also another top tip is to make sure you're thinking about the person that you're sending the card to. Like, don't choose things that you like. Choose things that people like. Like that person that you're sending the card to. Right? Really important. If you're making anything for anybody. Right? Oh, 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 yes, it's an interesting accent. I've seen some very dodgy cards in the shop. <laughs> very dodgy cards. You would not believe. <gasps> I mean, they must be dodgy because you've gone in capital letters. So we've gone full on dodginess. Okay, so I'm going to go and do my yellow one now. I'm going to just check that it's long enough. Yes. 
Gotta be careful with this ruler, it's so long, I keep knocking it. Okay, I'm gonna... I would use the pots and pans side to make a card for certain relatives, would you? <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this. That's funny. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> you can't get along with all your relatives, right? I think it's impossible. I think it's pretty impossible. So we're just doing some lines. Oh, let me go back so you can see the lovely lines. Let me know that you can see these lines like super clearly on the overhead camera there they look good to me let me know if you can't see anything and i'll show it i'll hold it up a bit closer all right i'm gonna cut these out cut 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 so this is the fourth one so we've got two more two more colors to colored paper to cut and then we are ready to assemble oh yeah all right let's get that out of the way let's go on to this one so i'm going to line them all up here for you so you can see everything so we've got yellow so i've chosen these obviously before i came on the stream i chose these um because i think they just look so beautiful together right oh and that's actually a good thing i should mention right i should mention about choosing things combinations right so you might think of like three colors. So here it's very much like green, purple, and yellow. And then I've got kind of colors to sort of patterns to complement it. So obviously this has got yellow inside it and it's very warm colors. So it goes with this really nicely. Then this pattern has got yellow in it. So again, that kind of picks that up. Then this has got gold in it, which again sort of parallels with the orange and the yellow and then i've got green which is very different which is like my background right so it's like this one but then it's got a bit of yellow in it like this so it's all kind of tying in right you're getting me you're getting me you understand what i'm saying Do you understand what i'm saying and then i've got purple finally which is picked up in this one and in this one right so it's all kind of like coming together, all fabulously, all making a like harmonious, beautiful mosaic story. Yes. Oh yes. All right, so let's cut these ones out. Let's make sure the width. Yep, yep, all right. So we're gonna make, I'm just gonna pop that there so I've got enough room. I'm gonna do my three lines. I'm gonna make sure my ruler is on the edge there. My grandmother, the one that's still alive, isn't the best. <laughs> Craig, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. We are making a handmade mosaic card today. Oh, actually, Craig saw me. Oh, this is actually a good thing to mention, guys. Um, in between these weekly streams, I am going to be doing like just little quick uh, live streams on Instagram. So if you want to know like what I'm up to, you want to like see some of kind of the tests that I do and the practices and things like that, like come over and follow me on Instagram. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Get ready for this. Oh, yeah. Check it out. I've got a little thing in the corner. <laughs> So come follow me on Instagram because it's really nice to kind of see some of like the processes on there as well. And obviously I put all my posts on there. I share everyone who like follows along with these projects. I uh, share their work on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, but mostly Instagram to be honest. I uh, hope everyone is well, yay. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. We're getting there, aren't we? We are getting there for sure. All right, so we've got the purple. We've got this. We've got one more to make. One more to cut out. Keep all the scraps. Her Instagram quickies are fun too. Yay! Thank you, William. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just like, I just pop on. Because these ones are like, here I am. Tutorial. With two camera angles. And all the little glit, the, the, 
what was I going to say? The the fabulous things in there, the fabulous pictures. <laughs> I was going to say gifts, but they're not gifts, are they? Help me out, someone. What are those little things that pop up? Overlays. Overlays. Your fabulous overlays. There we go. I was going to say gifts. How fun is that? Anyway, all right, let's do this. Now, I don't really want this dark side. You see this dark side here? It's straight, but I don't like that bit. I don't want black, and I don't want this dark red. I want more on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make as straight edge as I possibly can. These two sides aren't straight, so I'm going to have to just do my best to kind of make this line straight. So I'm going to cut all this off, right? I'm not going to use any of that. And then, oh, I'm working backwards. Why am I doing that? Anyway, I'm going to do a line. Why am I going, why am I going this way? Who knows? It doesn't matter. All right, I'm making three lines. There we go. Let's cut those out. Let's cut those out. And equally, if you didn't want that, you wanted to start in the middle and you wanted more of the middle stuff, you could do that as well, right? It's all happening, guys. It's all happening. Fabulous overlays are lavishing. I know, right? I've got another one for you. Do you want to see another one? Here's another one. Oh, I've got to go. Hold on. I've got to go there. If you want to find out what the next project is for next week, if you want to know in advance, maybe you're someone like me who loves to be prepared. If you love to be prepared, sign up to my newsletter, which I send out once a week and you can get all the information about all the materials i'm going to be using now obviously we're in lockdown so i'm trying to use materials that you might have at home but in the future who knows what we might be using you know we might be using some like super fabulous stuff and i might want to let you know in an email so come sign up to the newsletter artist resource uk forward slash newsletter easy right Overlay, gone. <laughs> God, I hate the word GIF, really? What have you got against the word GIF? What have you got against the word GIF? I know what you mean, they're like these things that get invented, right? And then you're like, this didn't exist before. What does it mean? Anyway, we got all our bits, guys. Look, we got all our bits. It doesn't matter if some are longer than the other ones. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. All right, so now we're gonna choose one each of each of these, all right? So I'm gonna choose the one that I kind of like the most. So choose the one that you like the most. I'm gonna probably say this one and then I'm gonna put all the rest in a pile, all right? I'm gonna probably say I like this one the most. I mean, obviously, if it's plain like this, doesn't really matter you know I like this one the most does it matter no it doesn't this one not really mattering maybe this one is kind of more central than this one so I'll choose that these three here not much difference again maybe I'll choose that one put these to the side let me try and get some more fabulous frame in here for you um, and then this one choose that Get a fabulous frame let's get a fabulous frame and now we're going to use a background piece okay so whatever a5 piece you've got if you're working on an a4 card you're gonna need an a5 piece um like i said before it doesn't have to be white right but i've just got loads of white card so that's why i'm using white i'm gonna leave all my little strips up there all happy i'm gonna bring these down here I haven't seen it yet, I'll take a look. Uh, so I know what you mean, they invent words. No, I was just saying because you said you didn't like the word GIF and then like, it's like meme, right? It's the same with meme. When memes were suddenly invented, it was like, hey, what's happening? What's happening here on this day? Okay, so what you're gonna do now, we're on to the next part of the project where you're gonna decide kind of what order they're gonna go in. Because if you can see from here, we've basically got stripes, haven't we? They're basically stripes, and then we're cutting into them and putting like rectangles and squares and stuff, okay? And we're gonna add a couple of things as well, all right? So don't go anywhere, because I'm adding a couple of things to this 
So this isn't the finished deal. And plus all my patterns are different anyway, right? And I know you wanna see the result with that. So choose what order you wanna do. I am just gonna lay them down first because I've gotta see visually. I can't like be thinking how I'm gonna do it in my head. I've gotta lay it out. And you should, if you're doing the same size as me, you should have room for one more. Uh, my ruler is, I think it's about an inch wide. Yeah, it's about an inch wide. So if you're doing all the kind of same measurements as me, and you don't have to, but you're gonna need to have one more. So whatever your first one is, or it doesn't matter actually, any other one, but the one next to it. So, let me just choose, let me just see. Oh, this one's so reflective on the camera. So reflective, oh, it's so shiny. Um, I mean, that order's quite nice. Maybe, you, what you don't wanna do, this is a really kind of important stage of this project. What you don't want to do is put like, the, if you've got plane and patterns, you don't want to put like two planes together. Nah, don't like that, right? You want to kind of mix it up a bit, right? Just mix it up a little bit. Now this one's shiny, this one's dull, so that looks quite good next to each other. That one's sort of kind of crazy and this one's sort of kind of kind of kind of crazy, kind of kind of crazy. Or maybe it look better if I go like this. No, I'm gonna do the original one. I'm gonna do the original one because that's what I just went for. Right, so I need one more. I don't know, is it gonna be green or is it gonna be more of this? Oh, and actually, oh yeah, it fits perfectly. <gasps> Results. If it doesn't fit perfectly, just cut another strip. Doesn't even matter, right? So next thing, I'm gonna stick all these down and I'm not gonna like measure or trim it or anything yet. I'm just gonna get them all stuck because you don't need to do that. You can just trim it off with the scissors, all right? No measuring is required with this, right? No measuring. So uh, another top tip is to glue on your background and not the strip of paper because that if, uh, affects the integrity of your paper, right? and try and get like an even spread of glue if you can so it's like not too lumpy and if you've got pencil marks on your bit of paper just turn it over if you can all right on your plain ones and it's gonna look gorge it's gonna look so nice Leona's art videos always give me inspiration and ideas when i create other art pieces oh they're so lovely that is what I aim to be. I aim to be an inspiration, you know, with all that stuff. So thank you so much. Uh, like trope, Brexit, and yeah, memes. God, glad we share a view. We share a view, Evan, we share a view. Uh, Moorish, you don't like the, the word Moorish? Oh, that's quite a fun word to say though, right? Yeah, words are funny. Words are funny. I'm definitely more of a visual person, obviously, but I do do like do like the English language. I do like languages, actually. Anyway, that's a side note. <laughs> side note. I'm going to move this around so you can see that pattern a bit more instead of just getting all that shine off of it. It's a bit like fans. Oh, there is a special word for this kind of design. It slips my mind right now, though. My glue spread is like when I make mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's lumpy. <laughs> yes, yeah, a bit of a skill, isn't it? To make like a smooth mashed potato. Bit of a skill. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mix these up, did I? Was I going to do that one next? Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah. I thought I mixed it up then. All right, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a bit like this. So see, this one I'm positioning... A little bit differently can you see i've got more hanging off but it's because i want more of the yellow in there that more of that fire right more of the fire please okay i'm gonna do the next one doing so well guys doing so so well did i say this was easy project how are you finding it because i think it's easy it's just strips of paper right and then we're gonna add some more funky bits on to make it all mosaic -y. and I'm going to give you some top tips on how to make it look professional right this is a handmade card but it's going to look professional yeah preferred solid ones 
But, oh, we're getting onto a potato conversation now. Potato conversation. Incoming. Incoming. All right. So we're going to stick that last one down. I'm going to put my glue lid back on. Right? Put the glue lid back on. Don't let it dry out. And there's my final one. I'm so happy that it is. Can you see? It's just a little bit. I'm going to actually make it so it's going to fit on the card. I'm moving it around with my fingers and I'm going to make sure it fits. So now you've got something like this. I will have mash occasionally if there's butter in which probably isn't healthy. <laughs> yeah, I try and put like a tiny bit of oil in it if I have it. I try and do a bit of olive oil. Try and stay away from the butter, right? Although butter's lovely. What's not to like about butter? All right, so what we're going to do is we're now going to just trim everything off. So you see we've all got all those bits. You can see on that blue background, can't you? Yeah. See all those little bits, we're going to trim them off. So let me know how your day's been so far. Tell me how it's been, what you're looking forward to, what you're working on, and all that lovely stuff. I'm going to trim all these bits off. And then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to trim these bits off. So about now, you should have this gorgeousness. And to be honest, this is already looking nice. Oh, I'm going to keep that little square. Oh, actually, I'm going to keep those both those squares. And I'm going to just get rid of this. Uh, butter and art. <laughs> yeah, why not? Right? Yeah, hot can be as good. The same with art, right? So, um, this is looking nice. Like, this is already looking pretty beautiful. It's not bad if you send it to someone and glued it down like this right now. I don't think anyone would be mad at that. They'd be like, well, that's quite pretty, right? That looks quite nice, but we can make it better. We can make it better. So we're going to keep going, right? We're going to keep on going. Tip two, trim off your bits. Exactly. <laughs> you got to. It's got to be done. You don't want any loose bits. No way. All right. So let's get to the mosaic in kind of section with this, right? Now, as you can see from my example, it's basically just like rectangles and squares. So all you want to do now is get your other bits. Let's just say let's get one of each. We haven't got any of that left, so we're going to have to use that one. Another one, another one, another one. And another one. We're going to leave all those extra bits over there. And what we're going to do with this is we're just going to cut them into different size rectangles and squares. Now, if you are someone who is a little bit fussy in life, and there's nothing wrong with that, if you're a little bit fussy, you might want to go like this and draw a perfect line to then cut out, right? You might want to be like, oh, actually, I want to make a longer one and I'm going to do this. And then you might want to do like a smaller one at the end. And I'm using this side of the ruler, right, to make sure that it's straight. So you might want to do that. You might be one of those kind of people who wants it all straight and perfect and good on you. And probably I would do that if I wasn't live streaming with you now. However... I'm just going to go for it and cut it out. I'm going to cut all my bits with just doing it by eye. And they're not going to be the straightest in some cases, but I'm not even going to worry about it, right? I'm just having a good time. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, you need good coordination for trimming. An art of the hand. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, OCD is very fussy. You just got to do what you want. It's your choice, right? It's your choice. So you can either be like, okay, I need to do this, or you can just do it by eye like me. And I'm just going to do a few bits. So you see I've got kind of like smaller bits, squares, larger rectangles, and all that. Me too, I have OCD. So yeah, if you feel like you need to and you want to like do straight lines, then definitely do that, right? It's your prerogative. It's the way that you want to live. It's your prerogative. As a wise person once said. 
<laughs> I'm not going to say you said that for obvious reasons. Okay. So I'm just gently cutting. I'm taking my time and I'm just gently cutting. So I'm just getting loads of squares, loads of squares and rectangles. I'm going to get bring this one in. And I'm just going to place them all nicely over here, ready for assemblage in about one minute's time. I use a trim mark to cut straight lines because my hands, uh, because by hand my crooked lines isn't cutting it. <laughs> dun dun dun, Shh. comedic drum coming at ya. Love it. Yeah, you can use a trimmer, exactly. You can use a trimmer, you could use a cutting mat and a cutting knife, which I said right at the beginning I would usually use, um, but I just don't want to do that on the stream, right? Because I've got all these things to think about, so I don't want to do that as an extra thing. Safety first. Safety first. All right, so I've got my little bits there, my little purple bits, two more to go. <laughs> Explain. Uh, now you got me singing that song in my head. Yeah, well, obviously on YouTube you can't play certain songs. If you mention certain songs and do that kind of thing, they don't like it. So that's why. So never mind, hey. All right, I got me orange, my orangey fiery bits. I love this. Isn't that cool with like magazines and stuff? How you can like just find these cool random things, and then these are like all different which is so nice. Can you see how each one of these are actually different and each one of these are different, but they got the same, they're from the same image, so they got the same story. This is just gonna look really pretty. I'm really excited. So let's do, and you can follow the pattern. You see how this has got, can you see how this has got like a, a fan kind of pattern. You can cut the line in between where the fan is and stuff like that if you want. You can go with the pattern or you can go against the pattern. It's up to you. All these things we're discovering, right? It's looking fabulous, looking fabulous. Okay, so shall we stick them on? Shall we stick them on? So I'm gonna move this one out of the way a bit now and I'm just gonna bring all these pieces up here. Now, obviously we still got some left over. We've got this little pile here of stuff still left over and that's absolutely fine because we might need some extra bits, all right? We might need extra bits. So I'm gonna move these up here, just putting them nicely so they're all there so I can see what I'm doing, I can pick out things. It's like a little tray of beautiful things that I can choose from. So nice, right? Okay, got my lovely greens there. Oh. Lovely. All right. I'm using my English vocabulary today. Oh, yes, it's open to all. So be careful, you might have the police knocking on your dog. All right. Okay. Shall we start arranging? So, this is the arranging part of the project. So, this is like the super, super fun part. And you might want to go, it's really up to you, actually. There's kind of like, there's different ways you could do this. You could go stripe by stripe, which is probably the way I'm gonna do it. Or you could go like the uh, piece of colored paper per piece of color. So you could go, right, I'm gonna do all the purples, then I'm gonna do all the yellows, then I'm gonna do all the metallics. You could do it like that. I'm gonna probably just do it stripe by stripe because that just feels right to me. So there is no right or wrong with this. The only thing is, that the style we're doing is kind of like brickwork. So you know how with bricks, how you get like, there's a brick there, and then instead of them putting a brick on top like that, the next brick goes across a little bit. So you have the foundation, and then you have another two, and then one, do you know what I mean? So they're always one like this. I'll show you here anyway. I'll show you here just in case you don't get that, all right? Uh... Uh, I'm using my sister's account. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Evan. It's Evan, right? Sister's account. Okay. So I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start with... Now, you can... The thing is, is, again, it's up to you. 
you could be super methodical about it. You could be like, okay, I'm going to take the color that's on the end and start with that, then do that one and put it there, then do that. You know what I mean? You could do it like that. So you could get a method. If you're someone that likes a good method, you might want to kind of start getting into a bit of a pattern here. But if you're not, if you kind of like just like seeing what happens and seeing how it randomly falls and all that, then do that. I'm more one of those kind of people when it comes to this. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to start laying some of these down. And these are like tiles, right? Like little mosaic tiles. And I'm just going to, whatever one I see, I'm just going to pick up and I'm going to kind of start arranging. And again, I'm going to go strip by strip from left to right. I like your brilliant explanation. Can you do it again? No. <laughs> that's it that's all you get I'm going to show you here I'm going to show you here so say I put like those two there and then maybe I get like a little piece and put it here right you want to see the you want to see your background coming through so don't cover up that whole background you could leave it like that you could put that on there when you come to the next row you want to make sure I don't want to use that one you want to make sure that they're not like this. How can I show you a little? Oh, actually, hold on. I can show you here. I can show you with this. This is what I mean. All right, this is a good example. I'm going to show you with this, right? Leona, I have the supplies ready now. Can you start over? <laughs> to me, <go. laughs> We're starting again, guys. No, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. All right, so this is what I mean by bricks, okay? So that is a row of bricks there. What you don't want to do is put your brick directly under like that. You want to stagger it. So think about staggering your pieces so they don't just look like they're going in rows. You want them to look like bricks. So this is this is great. This is a really good way of showing it. So you want to stagger them so that they don't, you see these two, you don't want them to line up. You don't want that lining up like that. You don't want that. You want it to feel that whole thing, right? See here, you don't want that to line up. I hope this is making sense. This is what makes it look super, super professional, right? Because you could... You could have them all in rows and all that. But if you stagger it like this, like brickwork, then it looks amazing. Jean, you're here. Welcome. How you doing, sweetheart? Welcome, welcome. We're doing really great. We're getting there. We're doing handmade cards today, mosaic style. You need six pieces of coloured or patterned paper, wrapping paper, anything you got. We made some strips. We've got a load of strips and then we're cutting them out into little squares and sticking them on. I mean, happy days. Let's make some homemade cards, right? I think I had this one. Leo, do I understand why text is here? Of course. Of course, of course. So I'm just going to place some on. I know I changed it. I didn't have that before, did I like that? But I'm changing it up. And then I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to lay them on. And I'm going to make sure they're staggered. So not like that. That doesn't look as good. If you stagger it, it's looking amazing. Right? Stagger them, stagger them. And also if some are wider, like this, you could just trim it. Okay? So I'm going to trim that one. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've thought about going into comedy. I think I might need to improve my jokes. Tip three. Don't make your bits line up. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, see, it's looking gorgeous. I mean, this one we're getting some super, super reflection. Maybe I should move that over there a bit. How can I get this so it's not so... Oh, there you go. Maybe that's a bit better. I'm going to keep it there so it's not in so much reflection. No, it's not in the centre. Uh, we're sort of in the centre, isn't it? That's a bit better. That's better. All right, and then 
I'm staggering them. I'm staggering, I'm staggering. And I'm not gluing anything yet because I want to see if I like it. Right? So these aren't lining up. They're not lining up like a perfect grid. Oh, that's another good word to think of. It's not like a grid. It's staggered. Staggered bricks. I hope that's making sense. Cross everything. And I see this one because it's got so much lovely pattern on. I don't even want to like get rid of it too much because it's just so nice. Like I might leave that one with that huge long bit. Because this is all like, you know, from the magazine. So I might leave that. What do you guys think? Let me know. What do you think? What do you think? All right. So then I'm going to go and grab some purple here, I think. And again. Oh, no. I'm going to do this one, haven't I? Oh, I nearly left that one out because it's so gorgeous. I was like, shall I have that whole line? Bit of yellow in the centre, maybe? Maybe I need a bit of yellow over here now. Now, this is another top tip. Another top tip coming at ya. Now, as you're going along, the reason you're not gluing anything yet is because you want to just see, kind of you're going by your eye, like what looks beautiful to you. So I actually haven't used any yellow yet anywhere. Just instinctively, I've been pulling other things and I've got to the centerpiece. I've put a bit of yellow down and I'm like, actually, I need a little bit of yellow over there in the left. So the thing is, the top tip is, don't glue anything down. Let your eye be drawn to what you're drawn to and then reassess it as you're going along, right? Don't make any final decisions. Have fun, right? Have fun. Okay. Uh, well, you could do, but it would be harder. The grid sounds cyber, if you get my drift. I like it when you add the bits. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to put a yellow piece over here now. I'm going to make it smaller. I don't like this bit. I think it's too big. So I'm going to trim that off. And I kind of feel like it should be down there now. So maybe I don't use that or maybe it goes somewhere else. No, I'm going to put that back over there. I'm going to carry on. Maybe I'm going to put a little bit of green in the centre here. Very nice. On to the next strip. Now, what could go there? We're getting quite close to the green. So maybe a little bit of a green here. So now, as you begin to like do more and you're getting near to the end, you can start, your eye can start picking out. So you're looking for all the same patterns you're like oh look there's a bit of green there a bit of green there 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 and there and you're just looking if it's got some nice balance to it and again that's just your artistic license that's just how you feel about it what's standing out to you what you're drawn to and all that kind of stuff right that's just you just got to go for it that's all you can do tip four a bit of yellow never hurts and don't glue anything down first especially your eyes I think I always got that tip for, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm liking this. I'm liking your contribution. This is great. <laughs> All right. So here we are down this one. I'm going to bring some of this fabulous orange happening. Is that too big? Maybe it is. Maybe we want this little bit of a fire spark happening. Make sure they don't line up. Make sure they're staggered brick style mosaic tile style uh i'm quite liking that one let's move on i feel like now i'm going to start picking out all the oranges so i'm like here's two near the top this big section there's one here so we need something down there i mean yes looking so nice we're nearly there we're nearly done we're nearly ready to glue it all down and add the little finishing touches and shebang right so maybe I'll add a tiny bit of green there. And I feel like I haven't done much of this. So maybe like a nice big one in there. Now I'm looking at those purples and I'm thinking, do I need to put this over here? It's all decision making all the time. And then on the final strip, 
do I need to bring some of this in? But I haven't, I haven't seen much of this about. So now I'm looking around. Where is this bit? There's a bit of white actually. I need to trim this up. Ooh, oh yeah, well, that's a good thing. Um, let's put that there. Oh, I'm getting a bit of reflection again, but I don't think I can help that. Um, yeah. So apparently you can look in your settings and you can get like, you can change the settings on YouTube. Did you know that? If you want to make the quality higher. How cool is that? It's pretty good. So you've got to look for that little cog. There's a cog on the bottom of the strip on the YouTube window. So you can change the settings there. Did you know that? Oh my gosh. I hope you're signed in and I hope you're subscribed, by the way. And I hope you've liked this video as well. That would be amazing if you could do that. Thank you. Um, and then finally, we need a bit of purple. We need a bit of purple in our lives. I need to cut this though because I don't want too much. And I'm going to put that there, stagger in it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that, that bit there is so reflected. Uh, the final strip definitely needs the fancy bits. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, I'm really liking mine. If you're making yours along with me, how are you feeling about yours? Are you liking it? I've got some more top tips coming your way, right? Because we're nearly done, but we've got a couple more things to do. Okay, so... Final thing on this, I'm just going to look at it just a couple more seconds and I'm going to be like, do I need to add anything else? Do I want to look over here and I'm going to be like, look over here and then I'm going to individually choose each colour and each pattern and just have a look. So the oranges are here, that looks nice and balanced. That patterned one's here, that looks nice. The greens, the yellows, there maybe could be a bit more yellow up here. Yes. Give me some of that yellow up there. Yes, please. That look even a bit of yellow over there. Yummy. Right? Uh, settings. Yes, I'll like and subscribe right after. What do you mean? I need to get my own account though. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yellows, yellows, yellows. A uh, metallic -y reflective one. Maybe a tiny bit in the corner just for fun. Up there. And then finally, which one haven't I said about yet? I think that was it. I mean, this one, the only thing is, is I've got this real long piece here, which I haven't broken up. But I just really like that. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to glue everything down. It's time to glue. It's time to glue. Get ready. Definitely, definitely. All right, let's glue it all down. I'm just going to jig it around here a little bit. Let's put that one back in over there so you can have a look at this one. You know what I used with this one? I used some atlas, like an old atlas, and I put some maps in there. And the birds are a wrapping paper, which is really nice. Uh, and that lovely blue one. I mean, I've definitely done more detail on this one, right, than that one. Definitely more. So I'm just going to glue each little piece. Oh, happy days. I'm just moving it around the glue stick because I find this easy to do it like that. And also, when you're... Is this tip number five? I think this is tip number five. Tip number five is when you're about to pick up a piece... Remember where it is. Remember where it is on your stripe or your strip. Because otherwise you're going to be like gluing it. And then you'll be like, oh no, where's it gone? Where am I supposed to put it? Do you know what I mean? Have you got that, William? Have you got tip number five? Aisha, how are you doing? How's it going, Aisha? Lovely to see you. Looking beautiful as always. Thank you so much. Come and make a handmade card with us. We're nearly done. We're just going to add some finishing techniques, finishing toppings. You know what I mean. More of an Instagram and person myself, although, but I'm trying to spell new Yes. Yes. Loving the colour. Thank you, Jean. Easy, right? Don't you think this is the easiest project ever? 
So easy. Honestly, all we did is just cut some strips out of six pieces of coloured paper, cut them into rectangles or squares, and, and arranging them. Arranging them is what takes the time and what makes it really fun because it's like just allowing your eye to pick out those colours and finding out like what really makes you happy and where to put them. Do you know what I mean? Like this is the reason I love mosaic so much is that it has that same kind of same process to it, you know? Oh, actually, oh, 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 I've just thought, talking about mosaics, hold on, hold on the phone right now, get ready. If you would like to learn how to do mosaics, I have an absolutely fabulous online course right now at artistresource.co.uk forward slash online courses. The mosaic one is so amazing. You make two mosaic coasters, a pair of coasters, and it's so, so beautiful and it's perfect for beginners. It's a whole thing, it's really in depth. There's no way I can ever do mosaics on a live stream. It's too much of an involved project. It needs time, it needs careful consideration. So if you're interested in that, go over and have a look and see if it is for you, see if you like it. Mosaics is actually really easy. Like if you like jigsaw making, if you like anything to do with patterns, like if you like really, really like this kind of thing, then mosaics is definitely, definitely for you. And I really, really, really recommend it. I've been teaching mosaics for like 10 years, actually longer, I think about 12 years. And it's just so brilliant. And it's brought so much joy to so many people. So spread the word of mosaics. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I did. So happy days. Okay, let's get finishing this card. Uh, loving the colour. Tip five, when you pick a bit and remember to put it where you thought you wanted it, you might forget to put it where you wanted it. Oh, William, you're really making me laugh. It's so great. It's so great. I feel like we should do this every stream now. I should I break it down into tips and then you can interpret the tips and make it easy for people. Reinstate the tips, right? Sounds fabulous. Thank you, Aisha. Yeah, this mosaic art tutorial is awesome. Click the link. Definitely lots of bits there. Oh, there's so much. There's drawing and painting uh, classes as well on there. And again, they're all really in depth and things that I can't really go into on the live stream. Uh, these are more immediate, quick, fun little projects. And the courses are more in depth if you really want to go for it. But it is for all for beginners. It's all made really, really simple and easy. And like, I'm all about that, making things really accessible for people. So, yeah, that's what I love doing. That is what I love doing. So this is looking great. If you're following along now and you're making one, I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope that you will send me a little photograph when you've finished of what you've done. I love, especially because we're in the lockdown right now, I really, really do love seeing people's artwork when they're following along with me. It gives me so much joy. Extra. I mean, I always love it anyway, but like just because of the times, it's given me so much happiness. So many people have sent me things and it's just like, oh, it's giving me all the joy. So thank you to everyone who sent things in. Um... What is the most, top tips with bits? <gasps> yeah, interactive. I need coasters for my bow. What is the mosaic in your course is made from? They're all done with glass mosaic tiles and I can tell you, I can advise you on where to buy them from and everything like that. Um, you can use ceramic tiles, but it's better that you use a specific type of tile and I'll talk about that in the course um, rather than using kind of tiles like, you know, household tiles because they're super difficult to cut. So you need to use ones that are very easy to cut, okay? So you find out all that kind of thing in the course. <laughs> Rhymes, I try, nice. Uh, yeah, so let me get these last little bits stuck down. Last little bits, last little bits. Oh, and be careful not to knock it. 
right that's you got to be super careful if you've laid it out not to knock it take it easy take it slow take it calm remember art is one of those like really lovely beautiful relaxing activities and um so you want to like be calm and all that kind of stuff because basically like art like um it just boosts your mood right it makes you feel really super relaxed and lowers your heart rate and it boosts your mood it makes you just kind of go oh my god look what i can achieve look what i can do and that's one of the reasons i love art so 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 much so give yourself that time and space right i mean how long have we been here now for an hour an hour and 10 minutes and look how much we've done and we're nearly done that's all you need to give yourself Give yourself the gift of time and creativity. <laughs> Sounds beautiful. Yay. All right. We'll get these last bits stuck on. Staggering it all as we go. Staggering, staggering. Using magazines. I'll tell you what. Using magazines is so, so, so much fun. If you get any magazines in the post, I actually got, would you believe, someone sent a magazine like for a promotion and it was like a top quality magazine, like a fashion magazine, which isn't really kind of my cup of tea really. But I was so grateful. I was like, happy days. I've got some more things to work with now. I was like, thank you so much for sending your promotion through the door. So look out for stuff, right? Look out, especially in these times. Look out for things and collect them, right? Always be thinking, be on the lookout. Like, what can I use to make art with? So good, right? Right, I'm going to put this little one in the corner. <gasps> Guy, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We missed one. I say we, I mean I. I missed one right up there. Have I missed any more? Is there anything falling off? No. Okay. Here we go. How lovely is that? I love that it's got a little bit of a shine to it. Ooh. So fabulous. Easy, right, and professional. Tell me you wouldn't love to receive this in the post, right? for a birthday or like just I'm thinking of you what an easy easy card a lot in so little time good skills Leona thank you so much Evan well I hope you try it out so I've got one more little thing to show you before we stick it all down and before it's the end of the project now what you can do what I didn't do with this one because I wanted to just kind of communicate to you about the stripes the strips and then making the rectangles and the squares so it was really easy for you to understand but what I wanted to show you is it's really cool to kind of put a motif on your handmade card so if you've got some magazines if you like me you got something in the post you might want to just have like a little flick through and be like is there anything in there that like really grabs your attention right especially travel magazines food magazines, anything like that. Have a little look and see if there's like motifs. And a motif is just simply like a symbol or a photo or a picture of something that's really bold and basic and just makes you think that is really beautiful. I have pulled out already some motifs to show you and I'm gonna see if any of these work onto my card, right? Are any of these gonna work? I don't know, okay? So I picked out a few little things. I've got, oh, let me go to the other camera, I think, so you can see. Uh, those bits are shiny and fab. Very detailed. I'd love to receive it in the post, right? Thank you. It's true. Okay, so look, I've got this little lady here that I cut out from a magazine. You see that? It's like a little lady with a kind of, I think it's like a sari. Yeah, it is a sari. Yeah. And she's got like a sari blowing in the wind. So I cut that out and I thought, I don't know, maybe she could be like, here we go, hold on. Maybe she could be like in there. But she gets a bit lost. So I don't know, maybe not, right? So other things I found is I found this flower, which is, what do you think? 
too big, I think. Very pretty. Maybe if it was in the corner, but a bit big, don't you think? Yeah, newspapers, yeah. Text looks good. I think that's too big. And then, I don't know if Jane's still in the room, but I've got a hot air balloon. <gasps> Sorry, it's a rose. It's a rose. I've got a hot air balloon, which I thought might look kind of nice. Ooh, maybe, maybe. I've got a boat. Aisha, if you're in the house, check it. I found this beautiful boat that could possibly be sailing through this mosaic world. But to be honest, I think that's a bit big. And yeah. A sari, yeah. A sari. Oh, a sorry. A sari. A sari. I think you spell it S A double R double -E, e. An Indian dress, yeah. Flower is too big for those bits. Yes. Oh, Jane, you're still here. Fabulous. Yeah, look, I found a. Like you on the collage project. Do you remember you had a hot air balloon? I found a hot air balloon. I think I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to cut this out and stick it on. Love it. I thought of you straight away. I was like, oh my God, Jane did a hot air balloon in her collage and I'm going to do a hot air balloon in my handmade card. But I also have this, which is like a piece of junk mail that came in the post. And this orange. I mean, could an orange look a bit fabulous in this? So I might cut this out and try this and the hot air balloon and see if this works and i also had my birds from the other thing but i don't i mean the birds could work i don't know maybe i'll cut one bird out look i'll cut one bird out and see if it has a look uh, i'll see if it looks good i'll see if i had a look i'll see if it looks good that's all you can do right see if it looks good give it a whirl give it a try so i'm going to cut out very carefully this orange and I'm going to see if this is going to work. Again, it might be big. Like the rose, it was big. So, if you're following along, grab a magazine, grab a bit of junk mail. What you got around? Have a little look. You could also um, draw a little flower and cut it out and stick it on, right? Is that going to work? I don't know. You've got to decide. You've got to have a look at what you've got. And just decide. That's all you can do. Just see. Put it on there and see if it looks good. Right? Yes, a tiny one. Yeah. This is pretty fabulous because it's like super, super colourful. Oh, wouldn't it be amazing now if there was like a balloon show. And you just went out of your house one day on the lockdown. And there was just like loads of hot air balloons in the sky. Wouldn't that be amazing? <gasps> that would just be, that would make my day if that happened. Contact hot balloon people. <laughs> hot air balloon people. Contact them. Tell them we need them. <laughs> and the word refresh. Cool. What do you mean, Rico? What do you mean? What do you mean? Cool. A giant bird attacking an air balloon. No! Oh, right, because we've got the birds. Oh, maybe. You could see it like that. I wasn't really going to see it like that, Evan, but you could see it like that. It's all good. It's art, right? Whatever gets you going, whatever you like. Whatever. All right. I've got to trim this tiny little bit off. Ah! All right, all right, all right. So let's see. Let's get this bit it's quite tricky to get this out of the reflections should we put it there so the orange looks pretty fab i think the hot air balloon is also pretty good let me try and get the metallicness out of it's so reflective there we go so what do you reckon vote T cast your votes now please cast your votes hot air balloon or orange or even both i mean maybe they both look pretty fab i mean okay let's have a look i need to get this out of the i tell you what right let's try this let's try this this might be better 
Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. What do you reckon? Do you reckon hot air balloon? Hot air balloon. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard to hold. I don't know why it's so hard to hold. Or orange. What takes your fancy? Refresh. A word from the orange junk mail. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. You could put the word on, couldn't you? Totally, Tamiko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balloon, obviously. From Jane, obviously. Celeste just got got here. Start over, Leona. Hi, Celeste. How are you? Hi. Welcome. I'm both with a hot air balloon and giant moon-sized orange. Can I have a shout out? Celeste, how are you? Lovely to see you. From my son, not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to your son and to you. Hello. Which one do you like? Do you like both? Well, let's have a look at the votes. So we've got orange, balloon, both. Okay, we need someone to make a decider. We've got a stalemate. We can't have a stalemate. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm not going to do the birds because I did the birds on the other one. And I'm, I'm kind of over the birds. I love birds. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love them. But just want to do something different. So let me bring my card in. I'm going to glue it all down. And then... I'm going to put the motifs on. I think the motif just makes it a little bit extra special at the end. I mean, you could use gem stickers if you've got them. I mean, obviously, there's like a bunch of things you could do, right? There is a bunch of things you can do. Uh, and it's totally up to you. It's totally up. Or you can just leave it like that because it does look pretty gorgeous like that. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to glue it onto my backing. Then I'm going to glue it onto my card. Then I'm going to glue my motifs on. And then we are complete. Uh, or a shrunken air balloon being attacked by a bird. Leona, can you hold it up? <laughs> I haven't quite held it up enough. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, both. <gasps> Should I put both on? Okay, we've got two votes for both. I'm pretty much liking both. Let's do it. Why not? We need the vitality of the orange and we need like the freedom of the hot air balloon. And we've got all the kind of nature pictures. We've got the fire pictures which parallels with the hot air balloon, the fire. I mean, it's just all happening. It's all happening right here, right now. Uh, I think it was this way up. Yeah. So I'm going to try and get it nicely in the centre of this lovely backing piece. Looking good. Give it a good press. Uh, I could not stop laughing when you gave us a shout out. I love you. Oh, you're so lovely. <laughs> I mean, that's what live stream's all about. You've got to give the shout outs. This live stream is all about it. If you're watching this on the replay, try and come into the live next time because it's so much fun, right? We're all having a good time, right? Oh... Okay, so I've stuck that onto there. I've given it a good press down. Now I'm going to stick this onto this card. And can you notice that I'm doing it horizontally like this? So I'm not doing it vertically like a normal card. I mean, not like, a, you know, like a, the ones you normally see. Blah, blah, blah. The ones you normally see. You know what I mean, right? It's normally this way. But I want to do it this way because you get more of a landscape happening. I know what I mean. And I know you know what I mean. Yes, it's that way up. Okay. Looking good. I can't stop laughing. I'm happy to make you laugh. I am very, very, very happy to make you laugh. That is good for me. I've got to have a good time. Got to keep upbeat. Got to keep creative. So, yeah, let's get this stuck on. Gonna look gorgeous. Make sure it's the right way up. Give it a good press. Put it into place. Make sure it's all good. I'm watching it on both. Watching it on both, what do you mean? Oh, make sure as well, top tip, maybe this is the final top tip. Make sure you've got all your corners stuck down, right? Because when you send it in the post, you don't want the little corners coming up. So just double check, run your fingers over 
And if there's any little bits sticking out, just give them a quick glue down, right? You don't want the bits hanging about. Orange in the corner, balloon. I mean, I really like it. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I hope you're happy with yours if you're following along and you're doing it at the same time as me. Tip number seven, get the landscape happening. Long ways, not up ways. <laughs> What's charging the phone? Welcome back, Alan. Welcome back. Just in time. We're nearly done. We're just in time. Did you miss it? We're making cards. That's right. Right here, right now. So please make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter or whichever your favourite social media is. That would be really amazing. Come along and join my just like little lives where I just pop on. Um, make sure you've got your notifications on and you can see me, you can just like, oh look, I've got a little notification, Leona's gone live, jump on in, come say hi. Um, I like doing those little ones where it's just off the cuff as well, super fun. Um, but these ones are the tutorials, they're like follow along, grab your art materials, follow along with me. Oh, and if you want to know the project in advance, please make sure you sign up to the newsletter because you can get all the material list in advance if you really want to know what it is and you want to come along with me and you don't want to scramble around because like the first 10 minutes of the project on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. UK time, I will always be like talking about the materials and what you need and obviously you can go and run and grab them as I'm saying it. But you might not want to do that. You might be like, oh, I just want to sit down and be calm and comfortable. And I recommend that that's what you do. Like have everything ready just for a few minutes before seven. And just feel really calm and cosy and comfortable. The three C's. Calm and cosy and comfortable, right? And then have all the stuff in a list. Grab all the stuff before. And then come and join in with me, right? So if you want to do that, go to artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter and I will send you the list every week so you know what we're going to do. Right? Yes. That's what we want to do. That is what we want to do. Oh, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> For only over or else. <laughs> oh, it's a threat. No, it's not. You don't have to. <laughs> uh, where did you get the idea of making a card? This is my idea. This is my idea. If you don't know, I've been a mosaic artist for the past 10 years. So I've been um, all about mosaics for a long time. And I wanted to make something that I've really, really been enjoying doing um, collage recently. Like I made a collage just before the lockdown. I made a collage for my living room. Um, and I've been really, really just enjoying collage so much. Uh, we did a collage project a few weeks ago, so you could check out on my channel um, and have a look at the one we did there. That was super fun. Did a landscape. I went to a collage exhibition last year. I've just been really loving it. So that's where I kind of got the idea to make a handmade card. I always make handmade cards. So uh, we should not be able to start this at seven. I'll have to go tomorrow. Supermarket food magazine. Oh. <gasps> Great idea when you're at the supermarket, pick up a food magazine. Great idea, Jean. Fantastic. I'm just glad you're safe and well. I'm glad you're safe and well too. Uh, Leona's newsletter is read out loud by Sir Patrick Stewart. I want it to be a surprise. Well, then that's fine. That's absolutely fine. If you want it to be a surprise and you come on, you're like, what am I up to? That's great. I love that. I absolutely love that. Uh, it'll work off able <laughs> since 2010. Yeah, exactly. Good calculation. I like it. I need the list. I spent 25 minutes gathering supplies and she won't start over. Yeah, Miko, do that. Get the newsletter, artistresorts.co.uk forward slash newsletter. I send it out about three or four days before this, before today. Um, so on the weekend, basically. So you know what I'm doing. Here's the final thing. Da da da. What do you think? I'm super happy. I hope more importantly than me being happy with mine is that you are happy with yours and you enjoyed it and you had a good time. You let your mind just wander and forget about what's going on in the world. You're just thinking about beautiful things. You're having a nice time. You're lowering your heart rate. 
You gotta get a good mood, right? Get in a good mood, making something easy. <gasps> So good, so good. So, uh, yeah, please do make sure you check out my online courses, um, artistresource.co.uk forward slash online courses if you want to learn to draw, paint, or mosaic with me. Um, they are really, really in detail. So unlike these live streams, the online courses are really, really in-depth. They're filmed from three different camera angles. So you get right in there. You can pause the video whenever you want, although they're all shot real time, so you can just play through and make along with me. Uh, so do check those out as well. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Happy days. I like Patrick Stewart. Make it later. Yeah, if you do, send me a picture. Send me a picture, send me a picture. I'd love to see to any one of those. I grew up with his Star Trek. Me too. Yay. Thank you, Alan. The final card is fab and po oh, it's posh, is it? Do you think it looks posh? Well, that's quite good because then that you know someone would want to receive it in the post. Actually, I'll tell you what. You know, you could even do this project just as an artwork, right? It doesn't have to be a card. You can just make it as an artwork and put it up in your house somewhere, right? It look beautiful. It looks so gorgeous. Why not do that? I mean, I personally think because I didn't make this with anyone in mind. I think I am going to put this up in my bedroom because I really, really like it a lot. And I've had a good time and it reminds me of having a good time today. So, yeah. Da -da -da -da. Super cute, Leona. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, William. So thank you, everyone, for joining. You've been fabulous. I've had such a lovely time. I hope you have too. As I said, please do make sure you follow me and at least one of my social medias come along stay in contact with me on instagram i'll do a little live in between these main lives so come and check that out i've had make sure you got notifications on subscribe like i mean you can do so many things right i've just given you so many things you can do so do one of those things oh and if you can share this stream with someone that you know that would really love this then do that. That would be really, really amazing. Spread the word. Help me spread the word. We need to like come together, make beautiful things and feel really, really relaxed and connected to ourselves. So if you can do that, that'd be amazing. I'm going to go. Quality Street Rappers. Awesome. Awesome. Make use of the chocolates, right? <laughs> Without you, I would be bad at art, Celeste. You are too lovely. Um, I'm going to go everybody. Well done guys. Lovely, lovely chatting. Lovely spending time with you. Um, and I'll see you real soon. I'll see you next week. See you next week. Wednesday, 7pm UK time. Check out my socials for all the other equivalent time zones. Um, and I'll see you then. Yay. We did so well. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See you later guys. Lots of love. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.